it's finally arrived. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so pumped for this video. I've been waiting so long for this. I Heart Revolution have brought out their Christmas gift set for this year. They have done a Nutcracker theme. As usual, in their typical most cute, freaking cute packaging, I cannot wait to get into this. We've got the lip gloss trio to try. We've also got the Nutcracker Christmas set and I didn't know this, but it came with two lip, lip glosses with the eyeshadow palette. I wish there was more variation in this collection. I wish there was more because we don't need, all need these lip glosses. But still, I'm so excited to get this. We're going to unbox it. We're going to try the eyeshadow and the lip gloss. Not only that, I'm going to try my best to do three looks, one palette. Because it is a big palette and I want to get, well, I want to try and do as many looks as I can in one sitting. <laughs> I can only do three. <laughs> Calm. I'm just so excited for this. I want to go straight into the video today. So if you're interested to see what this collection turns out, then hit subscribe. Join my Patreon if you like. I'll leave it down below. And yeah, we're brought for ado. Oh, let's go. So I am looking quite flat on the face. I have got my base makeup first, just so I'm ready to just put on the eyeshadow. So pray there's no fallout. But yeah, this is the Nutcracker Christmas set. This set costs 20 pounds. And inside you get a little sneak preview. You get the eyeshadow palette and the two lip glosses here. So let's dive in. So two lip glosses are in this package. These are just lip glosses, I believe. One is more of a pinky and the other one is more clear. So that's what they look like. I don't know which gloss to go in today. We'll just have to see how the eye, eye look turns out. Do they smell? I can't smell anything. I was hoping it was gonna be sweets, like vanilla scented considering the collection. No, there's actually no scent in these, which is strange for them because they normally have scented lip glosses. Of course, you've got the eyeshadow palette. Now this is just so cute. Look at this. I love the colours. I love the characters. Oh, it's a winter dream. Um, so yeah, this is the Nutcracker palette. And here we go. I already showed my Patreon first, so I already know what it looks like. Um, so yeah, these are the shades. Plenty of looks to do this. That's why I wanted to sit down and try create three looks because I don't, I didn't just want to do one. I want to get fun. I want to get nitty gritty into this palette. We've also got the lip gloss trio. Now this costs six pounds. You get three lip glosses inside. So I can see there's a like a pink in the corner there. We've got silver and a nude. Let me see if these have a scent because maybe these ones got a scent. These are so adorable. They've got, they even got the different Nutcracker characters on the lids. But yeah, they're the shades. Super pretty. <laughs> will, will look super cute in, the, in your collection. They are sticking together. They've got that glue, which I don't appreciate because they're annoying to get off. Um, but that silver one looks interesting. It's got like different sparkles in. So this is the nude. Again, they're not scented. What is going on? Um, let me just swatch it. I wonder if they have shade names or is it just, that would be cute if they had shade names. No, they don't appear to have shade names. Well, this is the nudie shade. And then we've got more of a pink one. Um, that is the pinky one. And then we've got a clear one, which has got sparkle. Sparkles in. I don't know why I keep sniffing them because they don't smell. Um, this is just a clear gloss. Sparkles can see ever so slightly. Not enough to notice it though. Um, yeah, it's just a clear gloss. So that's the lip gloss trio. I feel like I can't breathe in this video because I've, I've honestly, Scott, I've been waiting so long for this collection to come out. I've been looking every single day, seeing where it's been released. Um, I guess we can make a start on this eyeshadow palette. I knew there was going to be a blue in here, judging from the photo on the website. So that's why I've got blue on. So I think I want to go in some smoky shades into a blue and then a light purple. There's no shade names. I've got purple. Ooh, that blue. Ooh, that blue. <laughs> We've got this black here. Yeah, I want to go with these. This is giving me winter dark fantasy. <laughs> so I am predominantly going to use those three shades, but I want to like transition into the dark shade. So I am going to go into this taupey shade here. So this taupey shade here, I'm just going to run that just through the crease. 
see what it looks like. It is a cool tone, beige colour. I just want something down first. There's mattes and shimmers. I'd say it's a good in between of how many mattes and shimmers are in here. I'd say it is a neutral palette with pops of pinks, purple. You've got a couple of blues in there. It is giving me wintry vibes, so I like that. So I'm gonna go into a darker shade now. So next shade is, I'm gonna go into this shade first. It's got like a, it's a very dark chocolate brown. And I do eventually want to go into this shade, but not yet. Let, I'm trying to work towards it. So let's go into this brown. And I'm just using Jeffree Star brushes. For now. Okay, so I'm gonna take this black shade now. I'm gonna put it in the lower lash line for now. So I'm gonna take this black shade and I'm just gonna pack on. That packs on a lot on the brush. So I'm just gonna pack on for now. A good pigment that is. That shade packs on pretty punchy. It's like a charcoal black with a lot of grey tone to it. Ooh. I'm just going to transition between these two shades at the bottom. Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking so far. I am gonna cut the crease. I just wanna put another base down. Um, but yeah, these shades, um, I'm happy with. Okay, so this is definitely not a perfect cut crease, but nothing that a shimmer won't help. The shimmer I want to try is this blue because this just wowed me when I used, when I just swatched it. Um, so I'm gonna go with a flat brush for this. So let's go in. I might wet it as well if it's not giving me that extra metallicness, but let's just see what it looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> um, you see, when I tried the Urban Decay palette the other day, that's how I want the blue to apply. Um, didn't need to wet it. This blue is stunning. I did not expect it. What the hell? The quality of that blue is just... Okay, I wish there was a lighter shimmer in here. I was thinking this. I should know if that could work. Well, let's try that. This is a pretty purple. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So this white shade here, we're gonna use that for the inner corner highlight and possibly brow bone, if it's not showing off as much. Yeah, this one needs wetting. I guess some shades just need a bit help than others. That blue certainly doesn't need help. Straight A's for that blue. Oh yeah, see, it pops nice when it's wet. This is why I do my eyes first. I'm just so, um, Fall out, do your eyes. I recommend doing your eyes first when using this palette. I just thought I'd save a bit of time. Um, considering I'm doing three looks with one palette, I wanna do as much as I can. Oh yeah, that white shade pops. Put that on the brow bone, yes. We're pretty much done. I'm just gonna add a blush there quick. I'm gonna go in the blushing hearts. This is I Heart Revolution. Got some here. I'm also going to take that white again and just use it as a highlighter. Okay, so lip glosses. What should I try? I think I might go with this one or this one. I'm going to line my lips first. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. So I wish they had a scent. <laughs> That's pretty. I 
maybe I should have gone with this and I'm gonna add this gloss on top I'm gonna ruin this packaging yeah this is just a regular gloss it's not mind-blowing but it's cute so guys here is the first look using the Nutcracker palette excuse the fallout under my eyes but I'm impressed with this palette so far the blue is star of the show for this palette at the minute I'm really liking this look except for the mascara under my eyes so we're back for number two same day I've tried my best to get the makeup off without ruining my base but it's not always going to be perfect so let's see what else we can do with this palette so I'm going to start off with this shade up here I'm not expecting a lot from the shade, just want something down. I think I'm going to go straight into a purple this look, so this top one here. Yeah, let's choose that first. And I'm just going to place this purple all over the lid for now. Because we already had that shade underneath, it's just made it a bit cooler looking. A bit bruised. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take this shade here. It's got sparkle in it, but it still acts like a matte when I swatched it. So I'm gonna put this on the inner corner. So yeah, the, the sparkle is going as you blend this out. I wish there was a brighter purple in here. I was thinking of doing a pinky purple look with this maybe or going with a gold in the middle but this pink I think that would look nice the shade is okay I wish it showed more sparkle as you lay it down but it just literally turns into a matte a pink shimmer and maybe you could so with this look you could go either way you could go with like a a champagne nude in the middle you could go with a pink which I probably will do you could go with a gold that could look really nice. Um, a red. Oh, that would look really nice. This shade and this shade together. Just see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like on top. Okay. It's like a burgundy red. That's pretty. I'm going to lighten it up though with a pink in the middle. So I'm going to take this pink here. I don't think it's going to be as impactful as that blue shade we used earlier, but it still shows up nice. Bit on the dusty side this this time round. Um, let's go over it. Let's go over in a corner shimmer. I'm going to take that white shimmer again and just place it in the inner corner because I just feel like it just needs a bit of a brightening in the inner corner. I'm also going to take that pink into the lower lash line. I definitely preferred the first look to this one. I don't know, I just feel like this one's a bit out of control. Let's add an eyeliner because that normally helps a bit. Um, so, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like so far. Not the best. Um, I still prefer yesterday's look. Either way, we're going to continue. It just shows I need to play around with the palette more. So this is the pink lip gloss we're going to have today. So guys, here is a look number two using a Nutcracker. Lashes are not performing well today, but the eyeshadow, I feel like now everything is on and put together it looks a lot better than it did before i think for the next look i'm going to take my whole base off and start again because i just feel like the fallout is there so when using this palette do your eyes first i'd say so the shades i use for this look this pale shade is nice it's not totally pigmented but it's nice and soft so this shade here when you first look at the palette it does have sparkle in there but as you're using it the sparkle goes as you blend in I kind of wish that didn't happen and now it's not as sparkly. I still yet haven't found a shade that is good as this blue yet. This pink shimmer is okay. Um, laid on the lid. I feel like it's fine. It just needed a couple of coats. Um, 
what else have we used? We used the inner corner white. I like this. It just takes a couple of times to get the pigment you want, but it works fine. I had to go in the black again just to make it a bit darker. And this pink lip gloss works absolutely fine as well. It's just a pink gloss. Um, I do wish they were scented though, but never mind. And we're back for another look. This is look number three. I've just had to get changed, take my base off. I couldn't leave my base on again with the fallout and everything. I just want a fresh face. I think it is time to go into something more neutral, bronzy, gold. I'm thinking that. I'm going to start off with the shade here. It's like a an orange tone. I'm just going to put this in the crease. Yeah, I've got no issues with the shade laid down. This would look really nice with the pinks in this palette. Um, I'm going to keep it quite gold though. I'm also going to take that same orange and just put it on the lower lash line for now. So we haven't gone into the shade yet. It's more of a dark brown. It kind of looks similar to this shade. Let's just add some depth into the outer corner. But like you gotta warm it up with your brush first and the pan and then go in. Those two shades blend out really nice together. No issues so far. This look would look so cute with this in the inner corner. I think I might do that. Cream shade. You could do so many looks with this what I'm doing now. But I'm just gonna place it in the inner corners for now. I'm going to go into this brown, which is this one here. I think it's a satin. So let's see what that looks like. I am applying it with a brush for this. Okay, that is lovely. I'm probably gonna cover that cream shade at this rate. So I want a really nice bronzy. I'm gonna go with a really goldy look. Oh yeah, let's try that. I feel like that could really pop. So I'm just gonna apply it with a brush at the minute and then I probably will go with my finger. Let's try my finger. Yeah, using your finger can go such a long way. I'm liking this. <laughs> this one. So yeah, we have covered the cream, but I that could have been a look on its own. I just want to play more of these shimmers. This is just literally a video of me playing with this palette, that's it. And showing you guys other ways how to wear the palette, of course. The shade is beautiful. This would make a really nice halo eye if you used the really dark brown matte shade in the inner corner and out corner then use this in the middle that would look so nice so again there's different variations how you can wear this palette you can use the same shades but wear it different ways I like, I like, I like that so for the inner corner I'm gonna go with that would be two I might go with this one so is this gold here let's try that I'm gonna wet this this is another one of those shades that needs a good a good little help so let's go in, see what I mean? Pop straight away. Just need a little bit of help. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is so nice. I'm gonna add that to the brow bone as well. Whoa, that is powerful. So for my lip gloss, I'm gonna go in the nude again from the lip trio set. Uh, I just think this would look nice with the look oh yeah I like this one but yeah considering I've had this palette since today I've had a lot of fun with it I've had a little playtime experiment and I'd love to know what is your favourite look so far I think with me I loved the first look and then I really do like this look too. So maybe this is my second favourite. Um, the pinky look I did like. I just wish the shade that I used were more 
powerful, if that makes sense. Here is look number three that you could do with the Nutcracker palette. I really like this. Very bronzy gold. So yeah, that wraps up my video today. That was my free looks using the iHeart Revolution Nutcracker palette. What did you think? Is this something you're interested in? Now, what I do say about this collection, I feel like all these lip glosses were not necessary. I think the lipstick trio is cute, but I think the extra lip glosses with the palette wasn't needed. I think it would have been better if they added a highlighter in there or something or blush or just even a bullet lipstick something that is different from the glosses because i feel like it's just too lip gloss heavy in this collection however as a collection the imagery the packaging 10 out of 10 so cute um i just wish it wasn't as lip gloss heavy that blue is probably my favorite shade out of this palette <laughs> i'm saying that already um this blue is very powerful i like this purple here too i feel like the black is okay it was pigmented actually it was more pigmented than the chocolate remember that big chocolate bar palette from last year i think this is a lot better than that one so yeah that is my review on the iheart revolution nutcracker set do let me know are you gonna purchase this i think this would be a really great gift for someone um I think it is a good Christmas gift. I wish they brought more collections out. I'm not sure if this is the only collection that they've got out. Do I prefer this over the Tasty Hamper? I think Tasty Hamper is going to win this one. Um, I love that Tasty Hamper. Who got the Tasty Hamper last year? I just think that was a brilliant put together collection. I do like this, don't get me wrong, but that Tasty Hamper, that is the top gift set that they've done so far so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video uh, i really had fun honestly i had so much fun playing with this palette i got really excited for it and it's excelled my excitement if you did like this video do give a big thumbs up to help my channel out and of course if you don't want to miss out on my uploads especially i heart revolution i do a lot of them on this channel then hit subscribe join my patreon if you like i'll leave that down below too but yeah that's me i hope you have a lovely day now time watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye